Hi Aries, this is your love and relationship reading for the month of August 2020. Alright, we're going to have four cards representing your relationship. Alright, it's going to be four cards. Let's do that. So we have six of summer. Six of summer. Which is six of cups. And then six of spring, which is six of wands. And then eight of autumn, eight of pentacles. And the last one for your relationship is the star. God, all right. Influencing energy is a release. Release, I think it's that card. Release. Okay. Now, now <laughs> another four representing you. Representing you, Aries. All right. So underneath this six of summer, we'll have for you six of pentacles. Interesting. And then. And the six of spring, we're gonna have eight of swords, and the eight of autumn, eight of pentacles, we're gonna have knight of swords, and the star by the end of the month. And we have justice influencing energy. Your influencing energy here is the star. <laughs> Sweet. Let me just pull it a little bit down here. Alright, so we have space for the top cards. Alright, top cards now. Representing another one. <laughs> Important to work. Sitting across the table. Anyway, six of summer for that important one and the sun. And then six of spring with the Queen of Pentacles. An Eight of Autumn. Now we have a with Five of Swords. With Five of Swords. <laughs> and the Star. And the Monk. We do have Three of Wands. Okay, influencing energy for another person is Six of Wands. Nice. You just go through some sort of major change in a, in a major transformation in your relationship with the release. It says, let go of the past. Ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. Time to move on. Doesn't mean that relationship was, that it's over with a relationship, but it's over with some aspect of it. The way you conducted yourself into this relationship, your partner as well, that your relationship is kind of transforming into something else and in a very natural way changes for you. Now the story, you are optimistic. <laughs> you received it in a very optimistic, you're very hopeful that it's going to be better than it is right now. That's for you, Aries. It's going to be better than it is right now. On top, uh, your partner, um, your partner kind of um, accepting it as a winning situation, win-win situation, enjoying it in that kind of way. That's how you come into this month and it's really nice. All right, I hope now that you can see all the cards on the table. Um, now, your first week of August, we have this Six of Summer, Six of Cups, beautiful energy of Six of Cups, remembering earlier days where relationship, when relationship was really blossoming. It's all kind, all uh, decent, uh, lots of love, playfulness, you know, uh, uh, taking that kind of earlier days of your relationship when everything was kind of romantic and nice, that kind of a model for yourself right now. Because I see you are changing, your relationship is changing, transforming at this point. So it seems the whole month will be like that. Six of Pentacles on your side, the sun on the sun on the side of your partner. Both of you are ready to uh, give your best shot into it. 
real, as I said, to bring your relationship back into that what it was. You know, that was six of summer, it's a fun, it's children there. Yeah, um, by the way, it's children. Uh, for some of you, maybe getting married, getting very serious, it's a lot of sixes in here. It's a growth. Stable relationship is growing. It could be marriage for some of you with the sun card. Maybe you are talking children as well. All right. Now, six of pentacles, you Aries, you are looking to... Um, for that what is suitable for your partner as well. That what's your on that what's on your mind. What is good for my partner? What my partner is expecting from me? That kind of six of pentacles, what it says. You are eager to do things the way your partner is expecting from you. You want to do it that way. Your partner is very happy. The sun card is a happiness. Accepting the relationship the way it is. Even if something is wrong, it's all right. No problem at all. The sun card, accepting it uh, as it is. It's all right. Very, very nice first week of this month. Second week also. The six of spring, that six of wands, you do have six of wands influencing energy here for your partner. That's very nice. Six of wands, you people are finding yourself into this relationship um, as, a, as a medium for you to grow. It's growth with the number six. We always talk, we are talking growth. So you find this relationship place for you to grow. Your partner, Queen of Pentacles, there is Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe Taurus person. Very, um, very calm down there. Very calm. Seeing you, accepting you as you are, even if you, I see as a source that you have, you pioneering these new ideas, you've got clarity about yourself. And I think with Ace of Swords, you are not including partner. You're talking, we're talking yourself here. Because I see Knight of Swords very next to it. You are, it seems to me, mid-month uh, of August. You will have something, uh, some ideas about yourself. You will, be, you will be very clear about it. Your partner, your partner is accepting you. It gives you space. This Queen of Pentacles is very tolerant. Gives you space. Not because, and it, it's not forcing issue, it's just very natural for this Queen of Pentacles to be a such person, tolerant. Though I think this Queen of Pentacles does have its own career, own um, money-making scheme, own things, uh, um, separate kind of, of this relationship. Though, as I said, Six of Spring, it says both of you are seeing it as a place for you to grow, as, a, as a, something that is suitable for your personal growing. You are planning, you've got your ideas how you're going to grow further. Very clear about yourself. Your mind is very active here. Your partner there is with something more established, I would say. Only problem that I see is this third week. Slight problem um, that you will overcome. That's for sure, eight of autumn, eight of pentacles, you will work hard on it. But it will be a problem at this point. With knight of swords, I told you already that I see that you do have something new um, that you want for yourself. Something that you haven't done before, something that you are very excited about, very intellectual, you're working. That, that's intellect, intellect that, that's, that's logic. And I think you're only seeing yourself here. Both of these, uh, Ace of Swords and Knight of Swords, these two weeks, you are seeing yourself. It's all right, nothing bad is happening, your relationship is growing and it's good for you guys. You're not going to lose each other, but at this point, on the uh, third week of August, I think your partner will, um, it seems to me, lose a bit of patience with you. Um, maybe um, this person will find, uh, um, find itself a bit offended, maybe. Maybe will find you a bit selfish, a bit inconsiderate. 
that because this is not emotions in here, because I think you are not considering emotional state of another person, that all this time you are talking and presenting your case, yourself, trust yourself, what's good for you, what you're going to do for yourself. Now this person is saying, hold on, wait a, 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 a bit, what about me? What happens with me? You are not considering that I'm existing this side at all. You know, something like that. But a relationship is going to stabilize you about seeing that this relationship is something good for you. This is really good relationship for you. Um, at least for, for those areas that does have this solid, serious relationship in you. And this relationship will grow no matter what. You can have your own ideas about you, you will, but that's going to serve your relationship to grow, to make better, to make it better. You are working on this relationship. You will work, work hard on this relationship. Relationship will survive. It's very, very stable that it is there to stay and to become even better, even more suitable for you. But yeah, at this point, um, you might seem really a bit selfish, um, I, I, um, I don't want to offend anybody, but you, uh, perhaps in these two weeks, you are seeing yourself first, what is important for you, and some important changes, I think, that you are making in your life. All right. So, that's what I'm saying, your partner might be a bit, uh, might feel a bit neglected feeling neglected and saying from there, <laughs> where am I here in your place? Do you see me? Where do I fit? Something like that. Yeah, third week, slight, uh, maybe misunderstandings, maybe he hiccups, maybe you were just too much in a row with your, with your ideas about yourself and stuff. And you just, uh, um, you used to have your partner very tolerant, understanding. Now suddenly you get surprised. <laughs> you know, was there something wrong? Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, 8th of autumn, you will work that out. Now, of course, you're going to work that out because we do have just this end of the month and we have the star, beautiful feeling that your relationship will overgrow these difficulties. You are working on your relationship and it will get better. It will be better than it is right now. It is growing. Being very optimistic about your relationship at this point. The star card, it's, we can never say, you know, it's our hopes and dreams, you know, we can never say it's really going to be like that. But it's good to have, to be optimistic, end of the day, then better to be optimistic than pessimistic, you know. <laughs> of course, with relationship. So it seems to me with this death card, that, that this influencing energy that comes from July or, or yeah, this earlier period, where you, your relationship is changing and transforming, but it's transforming in a very natural way. you both willing to work and to hold on this work for your relationship, to hold on tight to it, to make it better than it is right now. Always better, growing, lots of sixes. You are growing with your relationship and you find yourself personally excellent place for yourself to grow, to love another, being loved from another. You see your relationship, as I said, it's a good medium for your growth, for your personal growth. With the justice, yes, that's equilibrium, that uh, decision making. It's With the justice code, there is no emotional involvement. This is just seeing it as it is, Good for both, good for all, very fair. What's fair? And it's good for all. You are not anymore just me, myself. This is my case. This is good for me. This is what I want for myself. No, this is now just. This is uh, um, balanced. You arrive to that point. It's a justice card. You arrive to that point of balance, of equality, of fairness. Three of Wands, your partner is accepting it. It is something new, all right? That is something new, of course. Um, and it, it will be initiated from your side. 
something new in your relationship. I think you are changing yourself, your way of doing things. You've got something new on your mind. You've got clarity what you want to do with yourself. Something else, something very personal is there for you, Aries. And that will change dynamics in your relationship. Um, a little bit of a hiccups, like, like maybe this around the third week of, of August. But then everything is settled. Your partner is very understanding very bravely accept that new things into whatever you, that, that you bringing into this relationship. You yourself, that uh, with you, with yourself. <laughs> that what you change within yourself, your partner is accepting bravely, happily, that's new vigor. It will be even better, why not? That kind of you, uh, kind of, um, this is for Aries who does have really uh, nice, trustworthy relationship um, with love, with trust, everything is like that for you. I, I know it's not all of you, but I really, this is uh, um, readings for kind of a model relationship. Really nice. I like it. Enjoy it, Aries.